Today I'm standing in the gallery known as Storm Warnings, one of my favorite parts of the journey of faith here at the Billy Graham Library. I love the nostalgic feeling of this gallery. The televisions represent the different decades and eras throughout Billy Graham's ministry. It's pretty fascinating to see the retro models, as well as the cost of a television over the years. You can even hear the traffic on what feels like Main Street, USA. There's an artifact in this gallery, a motorcycle that once belonged to both of Billy Graham's sons, Franklin and Ned. But for me, the most powerful part of this gallery is the video footage. Depending on your age, these video clips can bring you back to certain times in history, times when our world felt dark and hopeless. Billy Graham's messages during these periods are timeless, as many of the issues are still part of our world today. His words challenge me and comfort me as I watch and listen. I'm reminded that through the destruction and unrest in our world, that we do have a hope. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. And we may never understand why terrible things happen, but the promise remains that one day there will be peace on earth. When Jesus returns, he will bring peace and all will be perfect. And until then, God is our refuge and strength, a present help in time of trouble. And Billy Graham reminds us to cling to this truth through the trials and sufferings of life. No matter how hard we try, words simply cannot express the horror, the shock, and the revulsion we all feel over what took place in this nation on Tuesday morning. We've always needed God from the very beginning of this nation. But today we need him especially. I've been asked hundreds of times in my life why God allows tragedy and suffering. I have to confess that I really do not know the answer, totally, even to my own satisfaction. I have to accept by faith that God is sovereign and he's a God of love and mercy and compassion in the midst of suffering. Difficult as it may be for us to see right now, this event can give a message of hope. Hope for the present and hope for the future. This event reminds us of the brevity and the uncertainty of life. We never know when we too will be called into eternity. And that's why each of us needs to face our own spiritual need and commit ourselves to God and His will now. Yes. Our nation has been attacked, buildings destroyed, lives lost. But now we have a choice, whether to implode and disintegrate emotionally and spiritually as a people and a nation, or whether we choose to become stronger through all of this struggle to rebuild on a solid foundation. That foundation is our trust in God. That's what this service is all about. And in that faith, we have the strength to endure something as difficult and horrendous as what we've experienced this week. My prayer today is that we will feel the loving arms of God wrapped around us and will know in our hearts that he will never forsake us as we trust in him. So as you visit the Billy Graham Library, I encourage you to spend some time in storm warnings, watch and listen to Billy Graham's messages here, and cling to the assurance of our Savior. We hope to see you soon.